Right, before we get into this week's video, I just want to say thank you to everyone that subscribed, watched, liked so far. But we're still at 89% unsubscribed. So if you can, please hit the subscribe button. Little thing for you, big thing for me. Means the world. Yeah, please, just hit subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. Um, but yeah, let's get on with the video anyway. Hit the intro. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. This week we're gonna jump straight into it. We're upgrading the stereo in the mini. I've ordered a kit, so fingers crossed everything's there. I haven't opened it, so fingers crossed everything's there. Let's flip the camera around. I'll show you the kit, tell you how much it is. Right, so like I said, ordered a little kit from eBay. It's all arrived. I don't know if we've seen any of it. Uh, just open it. then we'll send it back. I haven't had the best luck with parts lately, but you'll see that in a future video. So that's like a front fascia, fascia plate. Uh, told in the new unit, obviously. We've got wiring harness adapters. There, two of them. That's the radio adapter, I believe. And then we've got our JVC head multicolored, so this will change multicolored head unit, but you'll see that better when it's in anyway. So that's all the parts you need. So head unit, fascia plate, uh, ISO, uh, wiring adapter, wiring loom adapters, and radio adapter. Now hopefully, this, this is a kit, so this is meant to be all you need to quickly change the head unit. So fingers crossed, this is all we need. Like I said, today we're going to jump straight into it, so get straight out to the car. Let's see if we can't fit this bad boy. Right, so in the car, this is the head unit I've got currently. There. It's just a standard BMW, it's not Harman card or anything like that. It's not very good. Like I said, the volume wheel is like a nipple. I mean, it's tiny, it's got no Bluetooth, no auxiliary, no nothing. So we're getting it out. So let me show, I'll show you quickly where the bolts and stuff are. Let me turn the torch on. And then I'll set you up so you see me getting them out. So there's a bolt in there. Little focuses, there you go. And one in there. And there's one underneath here, which I'll show you how to get that out. I'll drop my phone. There's one underneath there. Then you've got... Uh, equipment. You got two bolts here. I'll tell you what all the bolt size we take them out. Two bolts here. Two bolts here. I don't know how I'm gonna get this one out. That is like there's no gap there. I don't know. That, I don't know how that one comes out, but we'll work it out. You probably see me crush my fingers again for return viewers of the channel. And you got bolts here, 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 and here. Then they should come out. So that's as far as my research has gone. I don't think this should be this low. I don't know if there's something wrong with it or someone's up. I don't know if that gap should be there. I don't know if someone's took it off before and not put it back properly. But we'll work it out, work it out. Let me get the camera set up somewhere, somewhere in this car, because it's not the biggest of cars. I'll try and get you so you've got a bit of a view and an angle, and then we'll go from there. Right, so tools I think we're gonna need. A couple of Phillips screwdrivers, because I think them screws I just showed you, a couple of Phillips. This is a T20 torque. Because I think they're T20 torque bolts. I'm not sure what bolts hold them for steering because I can't see them. So that one with fingers crossed. It started raining. So I'm sort of trapped in the car now. Still got a bit soaked. But the show must go on. So, yeah. Right, let's jump into the removal. Right, so now them two Phillips are off. We want to unclip this. Your gator, there you go, just, it's literally a tiny pull, it should just unclip straight away. Lift it up, you get your fingers in here. Uh, uh, uh. So I had to get some my missus to come with a smaller hand and get her hand under there. I could not get my hand under there, but it's got fat hands, so don't worry about that. Just push that out of the way. We're changing this for a carbon piece, future video, so stay tuned. 
Uh, and I think there's just a, oh, there's a couple of clips in there. Let's keep them out of the way in case we need them. There's two screws in here as well, so let's get these undone. Right, there we go. So, now that sec see how that section now uh, is move loose, movable? That's how we want it, I think. <laughs> right now, this, thanks to Google for this little trick, but like I said, this screw is boxed, blocked by the underneath of our dash. But apparently, if we give our dash, oh, okay, quite as easy as I thought. Right, here we go, so this bit just unclips. It's hinged at the bottom, so it should just open, but we took it all off first. That's all right, but if you look here, it's just two ball push pushes in. I don't think we broke anything. No, that's just the cover come off, that's all right. Um, and then it's hinged at the bottom, so you can get that completely out of the way. So let me check that in the back of the car. Ah, see, fingers again, every, every video. Things I'll do for you. Um, and now we should be able to get to our bolts here. No oh, trouble. Be easier if I could get outside the car. Like I said, we're doing this in the rain. Yeah, so these ones are just. What are these? Let's have a look here. Talk 20s, T20s. Uh, there's four of them. It's a bit awkward when you can't see. So, two bottom ones are easy peasy. Now, this one, oh, let me move me. Little Starbucks. That was not an ad. <laughs> let me move these out of the way. So for this one, open up your glove box, because otherwise you want a clearance. So they're not very tight, they're just holding in like a, the plastic arms here, which will also be changing to carbon. Be handy if I had all the parts, I know, but it's a process, as you all know. Let me leave the glove box open for a minute. Uh, so I fashioned a little tool together. Can't find my ratchet adapter, so we're going to use this. So, if we put this into here, like I said, surely you have to get one good turn on it. Sure, we get our trusty grips. Oh, now I'm dropping screws in my laps. Get our grips. And it should only take, should have taken a lot before. There you go, you can just do it by hand. Because you can't find one tool, don't ever let it stop you. So there we go. So that's all the screws out there now. I don't really know what we do now. Oh, there we go. So that one's popped out. Let's see if pop this in that also. There we go. There we go. So let me get you some light on there. I should have bought me torch out. So there we go, if you can, so if you can see them. You've got four bolts here. They're torque bolts as well. Let me see if they're 20s as well. Ah, oh, they are, perfect. So just four more T20 bolts holding the unit and we should be free. Right, so there you go, all removed. So now, stereo should just slide out. Lovely. All right, so let's see. I think these ones just have a little flap that you open. Um, do have to push it open or something? There we go. Just to unclip it. Should we just pull it up there actually? 
There we go. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, got a little screw so attached. Let's get rid of that. And our area wire. I'll just slide out. We've got a clip, there's a clip as well. There you go, that's that push clip. See there's that button. Just push down on that button. So there you go. The nipple head unit, as we will call it from now on, is gone. I would throw it for dramatic effect, but you know what I mean. We will sell it. If anyone wants one. Getting the DMs will work out a little price, good price, very good price. Right now, I'm assuming we will attach our faceplate first. Right, so we're going to take our get our faceplate situated first. So we thought I think we can get everything sort of buttoned back up, and then that's right. Let's work out how this goes on. I think I'll just get that through the middle. Don't put that through the middle because you know. You have to take it all off otherwise. Oh, uh, let me torch on it because I'm struggling to do this in now. Yeah, it lines up. Right, so now get your bolts back on. Let's just put a fucking finger tight so we know we're in the right position. So if the angles are a bit awkward in there, but it's a very small car. Right, so yeah, you just put your screws like that. Let me get them buttoned in. Right, so there we go. So this has a little tip for this whole job as well. Don't over tighten the screws. The, the metal screws going into plastic. Very easy to over tighten and crack the plastic. Out. So just be careful with that. Now let's get our silver legs back situated. Now this can be, I've read, can be an awkward, awkward job. Oh, there we go. As I say that. There we go, so not so awkward, but just be careful with them because they are only plastic, obviously. Let's get all this situated, I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> you join me down here on the floor. You just got to make sure there's like a little like where the, this bit unit is back here. If I grab the camera, I can take you there and show you. You just got to make sure when you're round here, there's a little two slips. It's got a slip underneath here. So it's got a sort of slip underneath there. So just make sure and you see you're sort of right back in position. So you sort of, you can see where it sort of all slots. But um, just be careful. You might, like I said, you might need to let me get down here and get your hands dirty right so let's jump right so that's one of the <coughs> Phillips screws back in let's get the rest back in right now as for your clips these might come out I had one that come out they just slot back in it's not a, not an issue no it should just if you line it up correctly and get your cable out the way Slot back down, it's quite a snug fit. It's there, and then you want to just slot your gate back there, sort it all out, and there you go, back in place. Now I'm done. So now let's get these uh, torque 20s that are in the side back in, and then we get to the fun part of this video finally. Right, so here we go back nice and secure so let's get to this head unit now to be honest I think it's a reconditioned unit I mean I paid I paid a hundred quid for the whole set so I'll put a little link in below or something but yeah, I think I paid 100 120 quid for the whole set everything included so you get two of these I suppose there was two different kinds of uh, uh, plug I believe our one is this one so we'll go for this one so spare plug going as well uh, let's have a look here so I assume it would go on like that and you just use that to, there you go 
so that appears to have clipped in yeah so like I said I haven't opened this I think it's reconditioned yeah refurbished it's a refurbished unit I'm not too fussed about that um, so another wiring loom with it I'm assuming that will just plug in like that hopefully there you go clip straight in that's your, your loom there We've got the unit itself, quite a, quite a smart unit, cage, which we'll put in in a second, we've got a microphone, which at the moment I don't really want to take all the trim of the car off, the car's going to be having a lot of work done, so I don't really want to take all the trim off, but I might just situate it underneath for now, until we like get some other work keys to take it out if we need to and an instruction book that we will go through when i review the unit which inevitably will come uh right so let's see what we're gonna do here first right so first i think we should get our cage situated so again make right where did you go i think it goes that way so again make sure you pull your wires through Trust me, I know it sounds dumb, I've done it. That's the only reason I'm saying it. Not, not insulting your intelligence, insulting my own. Uh, okay. Hopefully we've done this the right way around and we didn't have to put this in first. Right, that's it, so your cage will be a snug fit. That's what it's there for. These flathead screwdrivers are in the boot and I can't bother to get back out and do it. So, you see, you want to push a couple of these tabs. You'll see them. Push a couple of the tabs in. Just so if you come to a screeching halt, the stereo won't come flying at the dash, which actually has happened to me also. So, I'm sure it's happened to a lot of people out there. On my first car, changed the stereo, didn't have a clue. Done an emergency stop one day and bang, the stereo will come flying out. So, I think we'll be alright. We ain't got to go mad. It's a very snug fit. Uh, I might need to do a few more, but I'll do them after. It's a bit boring to watch, isn't it? Oh no. Right, so. Right, do you know what we haven't done? No. So, I'll tell you what we haven't done. We haven't set up our radio wire and adapter so let's grab it out it's there uh, if we plug this one in should yes there you go plugs in hit radio plug then this I should plug in the back of the stereo somewhere from yeah see so back of your stereo you got it there slot that in like that and that goes and then you want to slot that no you don't no right hold on we might have done this wrong oh no i think it just slots in so you don't need this bit of adapter don't know what that's for all right so we learn as we go we learn as we go so that slot in there what way's the right way around that slot in there like that now your plug is tiny, that's your self-explanatory. Go in there. There you go, that should be it. Now let's get, try and get it situated over Now, before we slot it all in and get it situated permanently, let's do a test if I can find the car keys. There we go, got them. Right, so if you focus in on the unit, cars up. We've got life, we've got life. JVC, FM. Let's go for Bluetooth. Let's see if we can quickly, quickly, quickly connect onto it. Maybe they're the strange noises this car makes. Don't worry about that. If, oh, we're pairing. Let's pair. Um, yeah. 
times. But now I don't know what all this means. Hopefully it's pairing up. I do click pair down to click something on there. We'd be better if we read the instructions, but we're not gonna. <laughs> right, so let's see, I've got some music here that is copyright free. Let's just do a shuffle. Right, well, there's no more of my rubbish dancing, but it, it works, it works, it works. To be fair, the speakers sound much better than they did before. Bassy, I'm in love. I'm going to be rocking the mini all the time now. That was the only reason I ain't been driving it. Like, I need some sounds while I'm driving. So, obviously, the rest of the audio is getting upgraded anyway, but... That's made a big difference. It's made a big difference. I will do a full review and sort of how-to video on this unit because it does loads of stuff. All the colours change, everything. So we will do that. We will. That is upcoming. But let's, let's get it situated now. We'll get it locked in. So let me just pull it out and we'll talk about our microphone. Now, if I can feed the microphone down into the little well underneath, I will do that for now. Like I said, then later on, we'll get it situated. Like, you really, you should put it up here or up by the mirror or somewhere. But, honestly, you've got to take all this trim off. And today, like I said, this is just the install for the stereo. Like, help anyone out because I didn't know how to do it. I read on a few, a few forums and asked a few friends. So, I thought it's a little video, and it? Let me make a little video. So, this would probably would have been better to do when we had all these panels off. Nah, it's not gonna work, right. We'll leave the microphone off for now. We've got it. I'm sure it's probably got a built-in mic on the front. Usually they do. And then uh, we'll go from there. So let's get it in. Locked in where it's gonna live. Uh, that should be it. That should be it. Mm -hmm. There we go. So it's just our side bits needed pulling in. They, them bits you don't want to push out, you want to pull them in a bit. Just ask the clips. And then put our front fascia cover on. And get it to fit. I might get it upside down. There we go. And there you go. You have. If it comes on. There you go. You finished unit. I mean, I could not be happy with that. I could not be happy with that. I think mean, if we just get get a look at it, it is um, it looks so much better than that original one. I mean, so much better. But like I said, let me live with it for a minute, and we'll get a few full full how to and review and what's it like and blah blah blah. But um, yeah, today that's it, isn't it, man? I mean. Get one if you ain't got one. Get one. I love this. I already love it. I even use it. I love it. So um, like I said at the start of this video, 89% of our viewers are not subscribed. Please subscribe. It means the world to me. Want to hit that thousand subscribers at some point. So yeah, views are amazing. Please just get the subscribers up there. Plenty more videos to come on the mini. The next video will be a TT video. Just trying to find somewhere to clean it. But yeah, just, oh, if I got to go out and clean it myself, next video is going to be a TT video. I've owned that car for two years now. So it's a two year ownership review and yeah, we'll, we'll talk in that video. But plenty more mini videos to come, plenty more TT videos to come, other videos as well. Yeah, stay tuned, subscribe, thank you for the support. I'll catch you on the next one.